and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Tuesday? So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, normally I do my weekly, my weekly cash stuffing videos on Instagram. And so we are on week four and I decided to do it on YouTube today. So that way it was a little bit more longer and I could explain things a little better. So moving forward, if you want me to do the weekly cash stuffing videos on YouTube versus in the reel, I know that the reels are very quick. And so 60 seconds, it's cute to look at them, but sometimes it's very hard to understand the, like what I'm doing or like what I'm actually doing. Okay. I live in Connecticut. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful day today. I cannot stress, um, how cool it is outside. So I'm wearing one of my um, sweaters. Okay, so here's a couple things. I have the caddy with me like right behind, but because I don't have enough space to show you, I can flip the phone and show you after. So what I'm doing is I'm actually outside, okay? So let me go ahead and turn the camera. Do you see? So I'm outside. And most of you that have been following me for some time, I would do my videos out on the back table because of the lighting and it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's, it's so quiet. So um, I decided to do the video today outside just to get that beautiful fresh air and it's actually really nice out. So um, I have my 8x10 budget planner. I have my 100 saving challenge binder. Um, I have a couple, um, the new saving challenges that are actually on sale. And I have my sinking funds binder, which I switched into. So let me show you a couple things. Um, real quick, we also have a sale going on today for the saving challenges. So the 37 laminated saving challenges and the printed ones and also the children's saving challenges are all 50% off. And you can use the code sale 50 and it's all caps, okay? So take a look at those if you haven't purchased um, over the weekend. So this one here is what I use for my on the go. So I use this for on the go. This is where I store all of the money that's for the during the week because I don't need to take it all with me. So I put it here, but then I say to myself, oh, do I need gas during the week? Do I need gas? Do I need to go to the grocery store? Do I need, when am I going to get groceries? Things like that. And then I'll just take the money out of here. I put it in here and I bring it with me as my wallet. Okay. So that goes with me. This is, like I said, this is the cash. This is the classic collection. And these are the, um, these are the variable expenses for the cash envelopes that I use. So let's go through them. And then this one, because I had so many in here, it was so packed, I wasn't able to even close it. And so I took half of what I had in here and I put it in the yellow one, um, the yellow, in the pink one. So the pink one has more of like all of my cards. It has my saving challenge. It has, oh my goodness, I can't even think straight. I'm sorry, it has my sinking funds. So I have all of my sinking funds in here. Um, I also have Amazon, Target. Uh, I have my a few holiday envelopes, which is Halloween, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Christmas. And then I have birthdays, some reusable paper for your stickers, um, and cards, okay. And gift cards are in the back as well. So what I do is if I do have money left over, from the grocery store after going you know shopping I'll pick up a few gift cards because they're very handy to have for, for um, around Christmas time and for birthdays so so now as you can see I have two of them right so I have my sinking funds I have my holiday binder some of the envelopes that are in here every week what I do is I really focus on my variable cash envelopes I focus on these first because this is extremely important uh, as far as I'm concerned like groceries household eating out gas beauty and miscellaneous and then I have BJ's these are also some extras these are my very these are my main main envelopes this is how I was able to get ahead this is able this is how I, I was able to get ahead by using these categories I stuff my envelopes 
and I use what was in the envelopes and once it's done it's done so that's pretty much the concept with that so I don't have my cash tray today like I said I am outside um, so I will just have the money on the side of me I went to the bank today and I took out $380 okay so I don't think I have any sticky notes um, with me but what we can do is let's take the let's take the small my, my budget planner because I don't want to take the big one I don't have a lot of space here so I'm just going to use the note pages that are in the planner and so that's another thing too is like utilizing what you have you know if you haven't took a look at the budget planners that we have in the shop take a look because there are different styles for different people you know we have like the a5 rings we have the coil that's this one we have the a5 10 which is a lot larger we have the um like i said the a5 a5 rings a5 disc and personal so you know do what works for you so what i'm going to do is write bank so it took $380 out. And what I do is I go to the teller and I have her get smaller denominations. Because I got so many ones the past couple weeks, I literally don't need any more ones. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way because this is my sinking funds. And like I said, I really wanna focus on the, the, um, the, variable, the variable cash envelopes. Okay, stuff is flying around. All right, so typically every week, what I do is I like to have $150 for my groceries, okay? So let me just make sure we're even here, okay? And so what I do is, I'm gonna sit down. So for groceries, I usually like to have 150. Now, can I go a little bit less than that? Yes. I always make sure I have meats, veggies and things in the freezer so it's like you always have stuff in the pantry you always have enough stuff do we want to eat it probably not but do you have it yes probably the chances are you do okay um if you don't then okay then maybe you're justified in you know spending so I like to aim for 150 but I always like to keep it below that. So it's almost like a challenge for myself when I'm going to the grocery store. So when I went with my daughter on Sunday, we went to the store, we went to Walmart to get our household stuff and then went to Big Y. And then we had a list. Having a list is super important. And then checking like, you know, checking your pantry and the fridge. You know, check in the freezer really going through what you have. If you have items to use, then try to make, do your meal planning and try to make your meals and figure out what is it that you can make with the stuff that you do have. If it's no good, get rid of it or throw it away because what's the point? Why are you buying more stuff if you're not even using what you have? So those are some of the things I like to do because I don't want to waste money on food if I don't have to. So this, what I usually do is go through, I always try to figure out like, okay, what am I gonna make this week? What do I have? What do I need? Yeah, let's just try to stay below the 150. Does it always happen? No. Okay, so for household, that's like laundry detergent, dish detergent, and I did buy a lot. So how much are those? 20 bucks. I spent 20. Um, and I'll probably put, so what I'm doing here is this is what I, this is what I took out of the bank. And so I'm trying to figure out how much I'm going to be stuffing each of the envelopes. So I have my calculator here just in case I need it. Well, because I usually get cat food, I have laundry. No, I need laundry. Did I already get laundry? No, I got the laundry detergent. I got the paper towels, toilet paper, dish detergent. I'm probably good, but what I will do is add $20, okay? Every week you can sit down and do the same thing. Eating out. Now eating out is a luxury. You don't really have to have money to go to eating out, especially if you don't have it and you're really, really tight and you're trying to cut back on in different areas, especially with the, you know, the high the cost of things right now, prices. Um, so as far as eating out, um, I do like to grab a coffee now and then, or maybe on the weekend, like if my daughter helps me, we'll grab food. But other than that, it's not like I go out every 
week. So let's just try to do we'll do 30 like we did last week. And gas. Gas, I use I fill up my gas tank every week and I use $50. So $50 is what I fill my car up with and it lasts me the whole week. So for beauty, um, I added $30. Because I already got my nails done, I added 30. So then this week, towards the end of the week, I will have the money because I'm going to add money. So we'll add, because I have 30, I'm going to add, I'm gonna add 20. That's gonna make 50. So when I go on Thursday or Friday, I can get my nails done and I have the total 50. So you're basically setting yourself up for the week and taking the minimum as much as you, like the least as you amount. Now for miscellaneous, this is my favorite because miscellaneous, oh my goodness, this, I'm telling you guys, when I first started my cash envelope system process, miscellaneous um, what I what I figured out was and what worked for me when I was working my day job I found out I would always put in two to three hundred three hundred four hundred whatever amount you can and I always tried to put in more money than needed because um, miscellaneous is what really allowed me to get ahead I would always try to have 300 so I have 100 in my purse and I have 100 here I do want to go shopping there. So I, I only have a hundred left because I did go to Target. I bought some extra stuff on Saturday. So I used the money that I had. BJ's is, you can use that for groceries as well. So like typically, technically I don't really need the whole 150, but I will put it in. I do have a hundred. But miscellaneous is awesome. So if you guys are just starting and you're filling your cash envelopes, you have groceries, household, eating out, gas, beauty try to do as less as possible you know if, if you can if not that's okay you have to you know if you don't put the right amount then you're going to go over and you might use your card and that's what we don't want you to do we don't want you to do that because once the money's gone it's gone so try to set yourself up um so where you have enough for the full week okay so for me because i just got groceries on sunday 150 is fine today's tuesday i already have my meal planning i already have coffee i have cream I have everything. I'm actually making dinner right now in the crock pot. Household, okay, just in case. All right, we have 20 bucks. Eating out, that's, again, that's just in case. And if you want to take money from like another envelope and put it in the other one, you can do that. It's up to you. As long as you don't use your debit card. So Hannah, stop it. So we have beauty. Okay, because we have 30, we're going to add 20. That's going to make 50. And miscellaneous, I already have 100. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's see what we have left. So I'm not... The greatest when it comes to like adding things up super fast 150 plus um, 20 is 70 that's 200 250 270 okay well that was easy so we have two that the total is 270 I have 380 right so 380 minus 270 what is that 100 about yep 110 so I have 110 left now I can take that and put that in the miscellaneous over here, or I can take it and separate it and put it in for the, the saving challenges, or I can add it to like some for Amazon and or add like to um, Target, you know, or the, the holiday. So we're gonna figure that out in a moment. So give me one second. Okay, so here we go. So as so I went through everything and then, oops, I have all this stuff I have to get rid of, yikes. I guess it just accumulates. What I normally do is I usually do my reels and I'll grab like a sticky note and I'll list everything that I just did right here. I usually just do it on the sticky note um, and I list everything out when I'm doing the reel. But again, a reel is only 60 seconds, so it's kind of hard. So before today, I wanted you guys to just see it in a slower pace, okay? Every week I do the same thing. You can look at some of my older videos. You're going to see that they are the same thing. Now, as you learn, as you learn the system of the cash, you know, cash envelopes and, and you learn, you're going to eventually learn your own tweaks and really what works for you. And that is okay. As long as it's, if, if it works for you, then, then that's great. 
So every week I sit down, I look at what my balances are. Now, if I had $50 left, let's just say I had a balance for grocery. Okay, let me write it out for you. Let's just say I had groceries and I had $50 as my balance. Then I go like this, plus I'll say, how much am I gonna add for groceries this week? Well, if I only wanted 100, then I would add 50. If I wanted 150, then I'd say, all right, well, I have to add 100, then that's going to equal 150 in my envelope. Can you understand? So like, okay, the next one, okay, let's say we had 20 left. And then I said, plus, well, you know what? No, I don't want to add anything. Then that leaves 20, okay, and so forth. So if there is a balance, then I minus it from what the total, like I'll, I'll figure out like how much I need to add for that week, okay? So hopefully that makes sense, great, good. So I go to the bank, I get my money, I put it in my little wallet, and we need, we need 150, why is there a random dollar? We need 150 for groceries, okay? So let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 20, 40, 50, okay? So we're gonna take 150, we're going to put it in here. And then over here, what I'll do is, today's the 20th, 20. So we're going to do, we're adding money to the plus, and then here's the balance. Hustle. we're adding 20. Today's the 20th, right? We're adding plus 20 equals 20. Wrap a 20. And then put it in. There we go. Oops. Eating out. Eating out. I'm doing 30. 20. Oh, let's keep the 10 and we'll use two fives. Okay, so eating out, we have 30. That's what we used last week too. Today's the 20th. We're adding, so we're adding 30 and that's the balance, okay? Alrighty. Gas is 50 because that's what I use every week. So 40 and 50. Don't you fly away from me. All right, so today's the 20th gas. We are adding 50, which is 50. So yeah, I just fill up my whole gas tank, okay? Do it either on a Saturday or do it on Sunday, but it's the best thing you can do because you should know how much your tank fills up with. You should know how much you use for gas. So fill it up and calculate how long that lasts for you. Okay, so we have, we have groceries, household, eating out, gas. Beauty, we are only adding 20 because we have 30, right? So we have 30. Today is the 18th. We're adding, we're adding, oops, we're adding 20. And now it's 50. Okay. This way. This is the 30. So now we have the 50 bucks. Good. All right, um, and then for, for miscellaneous, I don't need to add anything. We're good for miscellaneous, so I'm good. So this is all of the money that I'm going to use for the week, okay? Does that make sense? We're Today's Tuesday. There's no reason why you need thousands of dollars during the week. You need just, well, you need, you need, so that's why it's important for you to figure out like what your sinking funds are. What See, that's why miscellaneous is going to help you. If you have more money here and you don't have anything for these cat like okay so groceries we have groceries household eating out gas beauty let's just say you ran out of your eating out envelope and then the girls ask you to go out or your uh, daughter or something then you have miscellaneous or they say mom please 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 it's on sale i want to go to the movies okay then your miscellaneous is just that miscellaneous is huge it's anything 
try to stuff this with a lot try to try if you have the money try to stuff this so you can stay ahead next week if you have it stuffed you don't need to add like you saw me like I didn't have to add now I should add another hundred but I I'm on a tight little budget right now so leave it at that okay so next week you do the same thing all right should I add another 50 and you just keep adding okay or I can just take this money and put it there but miscellaneous is really going to help you get ahead so try to add as much as possible trust me when I tell you this okay all right, so we're gonna go through very quickly. Um, let's total it up. Yep, so groceries is 150, household is 20, eating out is 30, gas we have um, 50, beauty is 50. So if when I go on Thursday, I already have the money. Miscellaneous, if something happens, I have the money there. I also, I also have the money for BJ's. Okay, so the next thing, what I am gonna do is take a look of this so these are my sinking funds let's take a look at what we have here 20 40 60 80 so we have 10 20 30 80 oh my god 120 right so 80 90 20 40 60 80 90 110 okay so we have 110 dollars left um, what I am going to do is I'm not going to put money in rainy day or the grandkids but I am going to put it in here so I'm going to do 10 for Amazon I just keep adding each week 20 40 50 60 70, 80. Perfect. And I started, I just I keep adding like 10 bucks. I used it, I don't know how long ago. So let's just add, we're going to add 40. Just leave, add it and leave it. Next week comes, you can do the same thing. You'll have double and then you have money to be able to go shopping. So for here, I just wanted to add, I wanted to add 10 to Halloween. And 10 to Thanksgiving, 20 to Black Friday, and I leave it. I just leave it, and eventually, like, this is um, in the bank, and eventually you can just put the money in your, in your account and just leave it. So we do have 20, so let's take a look where we can put this. I'm going to put this in miscellaneous. So... Let's take this back out. Um, I didn't stuff my 100 saving challenge binder, but I will show it to you and then I'll probably take money out. I'll take a look. A lot of the bills come in like right around now. It's like the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 25th, the 27th. It's like everything is like a lot, you know? And I'm like, oh my God, seriously? So it's pretty tight. So I'm gonna take a look at what I have for bills. So miscellaneous, I'm just gonna add this right here you can never have enough for miscellaneous it, it is like honestly the best envelope there is <laughs> seriously it, it helps okay so now i have those i have i stuffed everything i'm so excited i love it i hate it when i know i have to do something and it's not done so right here we'll take a look so this is my linen budget planner if you haven't you know looked haven't if you don't have one of these, take a look on the website. Um, you can also use the code YouTube30. Um, that's also active for you guys. And again, we can do like a flip. I'll show you. I hope the lighting is okay. Like I said, we're outside. So you have your, yeah, the lighting. Yep, this one is the new, yep. So you have the month on two pages. You have your bill tracker, your month on one page, which is my favorite. Two expense trackers, two sinking funds, two savings, two credit cards, two debt, and four paycheck to paychecks. Task list, a saving challenge thermometer, a habit tracker, and four note pages. So the planner is super, um, super minimal and very easy to use. Okay, I wanna show you one more thing and then we'll be done. The other thing too is this one. 
which is the eight by 10. The eight by 10 is literally, so what I, oh, hold on. What I do with this is I just pop it right here. I, right next to me, I have my caddy. My caddy is right here. And I have all my stuff in it. See? <laughs> So I have all of my stuff right here, okay? And so right here, we have the eight by 10, which is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. Trust me when I tell you this, I think you guys would love it so much. I put the little stickers over here on the side and it's just like, it's so big. I don't know why the lighting on the paper just makes the camera like so bright. I don't know. But let me show you my 100 saving challenge binder and then we will be done. I want you guys to ask me questions. So if you do have any questions regarding the cash envelopes, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch some of the other videos as well because honestly, like I said, it's all about learning. I learned, I I kept on doing it. Yes, I quit. I gave up. I kept on. I kept on. I kept on. I use the system even though I have a business. Yes, I still use. This is separate. Business is here. Personal life is here. I still need to manage my money. I need to make sure that I'm, I don't want to overspend just because I, I have a business. No. I worked really hard to get to where I am today, so I continue to do the system. And you can too. This is the 100 saving challenge binder. Now it comes with the light dashboard or the dark dashboard. All of the pieces inside are purchased. Like I, I made, I had them made for, for me. Now you might see a lot of other ones out there, but please remember they're not the same quality. I'm just, and I know I don't want to put down <laughs> the other countries, but this is the tracker. And so every time that you add money, you're going to use a highlighter, you can use a crayon, a sticker. Oh my goodness, I just got ink and crap all over my hands. Yikes. So you put the dots, like one, two, three, four, you can see, and they're double sided. So you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, and etc. So they're all double sided. And yeah, it fits perfectly. And I'll show you just like, I love it. I love it. So after I go through all of my bills and take a look at what I have left, then I will take money out and put that in here. But the saving challenges is last. When you, the first is your cash envelopes. The second, your bills. Third, your debt. If you have credit cards and you want to add more money to them, start with the smallest to the highest. And then like, let's say you have one, let's say this is the smallest one. It's like a hundred dollars and your minimum is $25. Then double it up. You take one card and double it up and you keep doing that and then you can eliminate all of them, okay? All right, good. All right, guys, well, I hope that makes sense. Like I said, today is, I think it's cash week stuffing four. Um, we are on week four, right? <laughs> and then we also have these little zipper pouches. Um, I have my HP sprocket in here and I'll talk more about that in another video, but um, all of the pouches are, that are like this all have different patterns inside and they're so freaking cute and i love it i love it so much so check those out as well so i just had this in here all right guys well thank <laughs> yikes thank you so much for watching um please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions and i always like to tell people please say hello below follow me on instagram as well and don't forget to order your budget planner so we could do this together all right guys bye for now